equalize a trumpet uh, within logic. Let me pull up a EQ, just the channel EQ. Bring it over here. Okay, so I've isolated one section of the trumpet right here. And you're going to hear it over and over, so you're going to get sick of it. But that's how we do it. Okay, first take a look at the waveform here. First thing you want to do is you want to eliminate any frequencies that are not being used. So I'm going to go ahead and do this low cut. Drag that up. The best way to do this is to drag it in until you can hear it cutting out the frequency. When it starts affecting the frequency and then start rolling it back. To where you... Okay, now next we're going to find frequencies that we don't want. So I'm going to grab a couple of these nodes and drag them in here. You want to really, because we're cutting, you want a really precise cue. So I'm going to take it down all the way to 100. I'm going to drag it until I find anything I don't like. Can okay, you hear that ringing? Ringing like that is bad, so I'm cutting that. I'm actually going to drag it way down. See if we can find another one. Adjust the cue of this thing. Drag it back and forth. Hear that whistle there? Don't like that. It's gonna get rid of that. Okay, you can add a little bit of presence to the horns by increasing the gain in around 2K or so. I'm going to cue that down a little bit, but not too much. General rule of thumb, if you're bringing up the gain, you want a wider cue. If you're cutting, then use a narrower cue. So let's find where that... Right in here. Don't push it up more than about 3 dB. 2 sounds good. I'm going to add a little bit of air to the top. You can still hear another whistle in there. Let's see if we can find another one. Yeah, I'm liking that. There we go. That's how to EQ trumpets.